No matter which way you spin it, there's no denying Chris Stang is having a breakout season. The competition's leading run scorer showing his all-round ability last weekend, picking up six of the eight tully wickets which fell. His bowling forcing the visitors, chasing outright points, into a tea time declaration. But it was Tully taking the day's honours, with Norths collapsing in the shadows of stumps. Four wickets in hand with plenty still to get, Stanger sees a silver lining in the task ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the way the game's panned out, it's, it's really kind of set it up for some guys to stand up and get in some form before the semi. Guaranteed to play a semi-final here at Griffiths Park next weekend, Norths will take whatever momentum they can get when the final round resumes tomorrow. There was plenty of work for the Dolphins keeper as the Heat completed a perfect pre-season on Friday night. Jamie Carroll led the assault and headed home the sides first against a valiant Stratford side before this rocket sealed the win. A Jamie Gosling penalty in between capped the dominant night for the NPL team. Good game, good one for our last preparation. Uh, they did really well, the Stratford boys. They where fitness surprised me a little bit. They kept going and uh, they have give us a, a good, real good run out there. It was excellent. Unbeaten in pre-season games and mostly settled on his starting 11, Campbell still has plenty on his plate ahead of Sunday's first round. Sides can only carry two imports, meaning either Jamie Gosling, James Price or Kieran Sanders must make way. Age is certainly no barrier for Caitlin Whip. The 17-year-old will be one of the freshest faces in the Queensland under-21 side to tour Sydney later this year. The South's product admits it will be a step up, but one she is ready for. Yeah, a little bit, but it's very exciting to be able to play at that level, that higher level with the girls. A lot of them there are a lot more experienced, so it'll be good to play alongside them and learn some things. Whip credits her coaches, which include Olympic gold medalist Dean Butler and Cairns guru Dave McNeil, for her development. The added weight of captaincy won't be a burden on Ryan Getty's shoulders. In charge of a side with an average age of just 22, the Innisfail product knows it's on him to lead the way. You sort of got to um, lead by example now. It was a lot easier before, just just putting the boots on and running, but yeah, now everyone sort of looks up to that a little bit more. He has the backing of coach Joe O'Callaghan, who's impressed by his maturity and versatility. One of the main reasons we picked for Ryan was, uh, you know, with his age, uh, I found him quite mature. Uh, you know, he's obviously got a lot of experience to bring to the group, not just sitting trust Super Cup, he, he played at a World Cup for Italy. The point guard's off contract and happy to test the market. What the Thai fans have done for me has been amazing, uh, the opportunity they've given me. But um, as for the rest, I guess that's up to my agent to look into and it'll, I'll have to wait and see what he has to say. The return of the Brisbane Bullets to the league next season brings another dimension to any player chasing a deal. Bruce admitting it had had some intrigue. I think eight teams, it does limit the amount of Australians can play. And um, yeah, I think that'll be a good opportunity for a lot of guys around the league. Coach Aaron Fern admitted he'd be hard to hold on to, with players' season reviews already underway. They would be definitely on the list to keep him around for sure, but at the end of the day it's a business and we'll see how things go. You know, we've got to do the right thing by him and he's done the right thing by us by, you know, being loyal and came back this year. Meantime, Bamiga product Nate Joey suits up for the Perth Wildcats in finals action tomorrow night against Illawarra, while Taipan Stephen Ways recovered well from minor knee surgery this week. Murray Wenzel, Win News. Cairns isn't immune to the raid. Netball, soccer and basketball players are among those approached to join Joe Butlin's academy. Ready, go! Butlin's a trailblazer of sorts, representing Australia in soccer before switching to footy and earning all Australian honours. She hopes other Far North women will follow in her footsteps. Talented athletes in any sport, come and have a try. Um, let's see how we go. Let's teach you the skills, let's teach you the game and see. The AFL has invested heavily in its women's program, with games between the Western Bulldogs and Melbourne Demons turning heads. Next year, more clubs will join in, and that's where the Cairns Academy plays a part. Yeah. Oh. We're hoping to provide them with a stepping stone to, to hopefully having the dream to, to being um, in one of those AFL clubs in the future. Queensland rep star Luana Healy is well on the way. The 18-year-old followed her father into the sport and she's showing all the tricks needed to compete at a higher level. <laughs> oh, I suppose so. It's no easy um, task, I suppose. You know, a lot of hard work and dedication goes into it. It's, I suppose, how much you want it, really. A Cairns Academy side will play Mackay in April. Murray Wenzel, Win News.